Just appreciate the physical size of that chicken. You just don't get this uh, chicken cottage. Do you know what I mean? Ladies and gents, welcome back to another review. We are in Harlem today at Sylvia's. In the UK, we've got gods in the chicken game, like Chicken George, for example, and others. Here in New York, all anyone talks about is Sylvia's. Been around for donkey's years. Again, an institution that's running through the lifeblood of this great city. And we're sat here now, kind of mad. Looks like your nan's front room. Um, menu, fairly simple. We've got some cornbread to start. We've made our um, main selection. I've gone for the ribs. Callum's gone for the chicken. We're gonna try it all out. And I'm so excited for this, Callum. Soul food has a magic simplicity about it that resonates with me. So, let's try some of this cornbread. It kind of smells a bit like a, in between a cookie and a muffin. Come mm -hmm. fresh out of the oven. Do you smell that? Yeah. It's sensational. Stunning. him, make a friend. Sometimes, when you order food like this, it comes out, it's a massive anticlimax. This is not one of those days. Check it out. So, got the grits, the mac and cheese, and the ribs. Apparently these ribs are absolutely world famous. And then, Callum, look at the chicken. Chicken mash, collard greens, and the collard greens, even them like they've got a bit of bacon or something in there, some ham, whatever it might be. I've got a little side of gravy as well, but just appreciate the physical size of that chicken. You just don't get this uh, chicken cottage. Do you know what I mean? Right, Callum, let's just dive in and eat, shall we? I feel like I should start on this one. Give it a whirl. Interesting. It's like gritty porridge. Let's get to the main event. Ooh, this smells so good. Like, properly amazing. My God. We've got layers and layers of different types of cheese in there. You can taste them all popping off in your mouth. Amazing. Right, let's go with these world famous ribs. Harlem special. This place has been here for years and years. The street is called Sylvia's. This is our special. This is to the community. Here we go. First thing I'll say, the sauce has got a really like sweet and sour vibe to it. Very refreshing, very fresh. And the meat, Callum, is so incredibly tender. It's very light, very fruity. There's even a Pepper tang, twang to that. Amazing. Before we get on to the main event, drink watch. Lemonade. We need to get this one. Spin around. They've got these like jugs on the bar. All different sort of drinks, alcoholic cocktails. We've got iced tea up there, which Callum had. You said it was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, the sweetest iced tea I've ever had in my life. Very sweet, yeah. Yeah. And I've got this ice cold lemonade. Homemade lemonade. Electric. Absolutely the most refreshing drink. I'm a massive sucker for lemonade anyway. Nice and flat, very sweet. Right, fried chicken and mash. Mash first. See how fluffy that is. The garlic in that is sensational. Collard greens. Got some meat in there, look. It must be some sort of ham or pork meat. Butter, seasoning. And you're getting even more salt. Wow. 
this really is soul food at its finest. We queued up, we were first in the queue. There's like a couple of people behind us. We walked in, sat down, instantly full. The whole restaurant was full. <laughs> Properly funny. It's like it just bit, it just came out of nowhere. This really is an American icon. Now Callum, here we go. Chicken. I'm fortunate to have tried some of the best chicken around, certainly in the UK. Underneath there is where you catch all the sort of the wet spots. None of that, look. None of that at all. No standing oil. <laughs> look at this. All that outlet. I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely over the moon for this. The world famous fried chicken from Silver. Here we go. That is absolutely beautiful. The outer coating is full of flavour, perfectly crisp. And the chicken inside is as moist as you like. Unbelievable. Harlem, this is a giant in the game. My God. Let's talk about portion size. I mean, look at this. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. What's this sauce? That's the gravy, bro. Ooh. I think that garlic mash, that crispy chicken skin. Wow. The sign out the front says it's soul food. And uh, this is this food, right? This is, I've never, I don't know if I've ever said this before. This food, uh, it's hitting me the same way when your nan used to cook for you. When you were a kid, you had no troubles or worries in the world. Just worried about your next meal, just worried about what you're gonna do tonight. This is, this is mind and medication of the highest order. Properly special. No pompous shit. No false pretenses. Just beautiful. Simple. Wow. Well cooked. Soul food. This is um This is really quite remarkable food. Again, I, I don't really know if I can dock any points for this really. Price point on this was how much is the chicken calum off the top of your head? 22 bucks? 22, 23, 23, 23 bucks. bucks. That was all of that for 22, not just the chicken. It's not exactly super high value, but when it's of this standard, I don't really fucking care to be honest. This is elite, world-class special stuff. And like I said, we've got some chicken gods in the UK, people that dominate in the space. Even on a gourmet level, like Chicken George, for example, but um, this is the name here in New York, and I can see why. This doesn't just hit your taste buds, it hits your heart. Yeah. Wow. Very, very special. I'm gonna give this a, like a, I think I gave Chicken George in my first ever video a 9.7, so I'm gonna give this a 9.72, because uh, this is the Sylvia's, Harlem, New York. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. That was a review. Callum, I'm gonna get myself in trouble here. I'm still eating. I just, that's the most emotional I've ever got in a, in a review about actually crying. And uh, I think this now is my death row meal. Wow. This is my last day on earth. I'd want something to tick me in a box that you can't see or feel. That. I don't really know why it's not a ten to me. Score sticks, Sylvia's, that's my death row meal.
people licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh. We're checking out the best of the bunch, so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.